So this is what it looks like. Come around here. It's gonna cover that guy. I'll put silicone around the bottom, probably use some rubber seals, and then this lid goes on top like that. Cover up these guys because I'm not gonna use them at the moment. And then it comes with some hardware possibly. I'm gonna look inside here, probably some rubber, rubber seals, some plastic covers for these guys. And this will probably be screwed into the concrete. And so this lid will be able to come off. This one will stay on attached to the ground. So if you ever need to access this area, you can just take this panel off here and then you're good to go. Okay, so inside here, let's see. A lot of good stuff falling out. I think that's all of it. Comes with the uh, rubber gasket here. And then looks like some covers. Cover. Looks like possibly one cover. Let's see. Possibly this guy. Uh, maybe goes into one of these holes here. Looks like that one. And then cover. Cover there. And then I'm not sure there. Maybe maybe this guy. Not sure. But we'll we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. So the plan for this sump pit cover, I'm gonna line it up where I want and then I'm gonna drill. I'm gonna drill these holes all around using a hammer drill and a concrete screw. I'm gonna secure it to the slab here. And then this lid right here goes on top of this cover. And so if you ever need to work on your sump pit, you can just remove the lid instead of having to remove the whole thing from the ground. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole here, a hole on the other side, and then secure it with concrete screws, and then drill all the other holes. And so this way I, I make sure all the holes are lined, and then secure it. So this is the hammer drill, and this is the uh, concrete drill bit. Um, it came with the concrete screws, or you can buy it separately. Looks like that. And I got it at Harbor Freight. It was under $25. And so it's a hammer drill. I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna line up the cover where I want it. I want it right about there. And then one of these holes here, I'm gonna uh, start drilling. And then I'm gonna do one on the other side. Now make sure, make sure that the holes line up. And then I'm good to keep drilling them. You want to go a certain amount past the depth of the screw. So I went around and I used the hammer drill and I drilled in all the holes. I didn't go all the way, I just did a starter. And now I'm gonna unscrew the lid. And I can lift it, put it to the side. And then I'm gonna vacuum all this up and then I'm gonna drill some more. All right, so now that I vacuumed it up and I did all the starter holes, I'm gonna go back and do them again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a generous bead of caulk around the entire perimeter of the sump pump lid. I'm really gonna glob it on. Now that I did this, I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna make sure that these holes line up with the anchors that I drilled into the ground. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw it into the ground. All right, so I put the concrete anchors in. Silicone is underneath this guy. 
I'm gonna go around and just do a bead of silicone all the way around the perimeter and smooth it out with my finger. So this is the end result of the sump pit cover um, lid install. And so depending on when I turn the fan on and how much air is being sucked through these holes here, I might come back and I might uh, silicone around the holes, make sure that there is no air seeping through this lid. I can actually feel air coming through this little hole, um, just pouring in through this hole out. I can feel that, which is pretty insane.